Hello my friends, today we are gonna learn how to create something what is called modal box, okay? And modal window, so like a box here, is something that introduces a special mode on your website. And it means that the user must complete a specific decision, like for example, click on yes or no, in order to continue using your website. So in our case, as you can see, I can click anywhere here and I'm not able to do it. When I click on yes, I should close it. But, you know, we don't know JavaScript yet. You can learn it in future. You can then, you know, find out that somebody click on it and then close this entire, you know, box and this modal window, right? And then you can allow the user to use your interface. But, well, we know only HTML now. So how to create something like this and where else you could use it? For example, when somebody opens the basket on the website, you can show entire basket content here, right? You don't need to, you know, uh, disallow th things that are behind the box, but you can show up things here. And that's, that's cool, right? Because uh, you don't, you know, make your user go onto another website with different interface that he's not familiar with, right? You just pop up the window and you allow him to choose uh, next things like fill the form and so on and order. So you could use it like this. So this is pretty cool, right? So how do we do something like this? Well, I've created here, are you sure, two buttons and that's all. So first we need to probably put it into some kind of box, right? And let's call this box, for example, content, okay? And uh, we've got the content now. And the first thing that I always do when I want to you know, check how things work, I'm changing the color. That's what I told you lots of times. Change the color in order to see how it looks like. Afterwards, we're gonna set, for example, 300 pixel width here and the height to, for example, um, well maybe let's not set the height, let's just set the padding to 300 pixels, uh, 30 pixels. And let's, for example, align the text to center. We need to also these buttons to be in the div, so they are below here. And now we can access inside the content our buttons and let's, for example, make a padding and the margin to the top 10 pixels like this. So it doesn't look too bad. Still, it looks very bad because we could improve it, but we will not focus in this lecture how to improve the look. We just want the box and we want it to be at the, at the middle of our screen always, right? So the first thing that you are probably thinking is, hey, so probably we're gonna use the position, right? Okay, let's use position absolute. As you can see, now it's here, but well, we are moving the scroll, it's not moving with us, so we need it to be fixed. But how to move it here? That's a good question, right? The trick to do it is to create another div that is gonna be a parent div and that is like a box for everything, right? So we're gonna call it box that holds everything. And now let's access this box. And uh, for a second, let's of course set the background color to something to see how it looks like. And as you can see now, we have got what? A box inside another box and this box has got set width to 300 pixels. So it's just small, it just takes this uh, place, right? And uh, well, we need to somehow put this here. So we need to somehow increase this red space for our entire screen, right? So in order to solve this, we need to access our box and set uh, the height to 100%, but it doesn't work, why? because this is 100% of available space. The rest of the space is taken by what? By our text below. So we just can't take more of it, right? We can make it smaller, like for example, 50 pixels, but we can't take more because, well, it's already taken. So in order to take 100% of the height, we need to get out of the flow of our web page. So we're gonna put here 
fixed because we want to move this with our uh, scroll but hey everything disappeared it's because we took it out of the flow and it doesn't has got a width and height right now we need to s it's well it has got width and height but it's set to the content size so right now it's just like behind this right so we need to set the width now to 100% and the height to 100% and now it works fine. As you can see now we have got red space that is everywhere and uh, well now we can somehow move this into the middle but how to, how to do it easy way? Well we can change the way things display inside the red box by using something what is called display flex. It changes how things behave inside. And by default, there is something what is called align items, and this thing is called uh, is set to stretch. It means that all the items that are inside, I want to stretch them vertically, okay? So like this. However, we want to not stretch them, but have them vertically centered. So we need to change the align items to center. Oh, that's cool. Now we need to do the same horizontally. And the thing that works on the horizontal axis is called uh, justify content. The name of it is really bad, I think, but well, uh, what can we do? And now we can put center and as you can see now it's the center, in the center. And you might be, hey, Arek, 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 but I can't see anything now. Uh, well, we can remove the background color and now you can see everything. You can't click on it, but you can see it, right? You can keep the background and see still the content, but you need to set it to, you know, transparent colors. So you need to do something like, for example, this, let's set it to white and you can make the transparency a bit bigger, like um, 0 0.6, 0 0.7. Okay, something like that. Well, you can play with the colors, right? But you can see now the um, background, but it's like blur or something like that. So you can do it still. Maybe like this. Would be better. Yeah, something like this. Okay. Um, this is not the only way to solve this. There are many others, but the most liked by me is to, you know, take this under the command and use something what is called display grid. Oh, this is better because this thing makes your content to be a grid like it says and the cool thing is that there is a property that says something like place all the items inside the grid in, in the center and that's all <laughs> i think this is easier to read right but uh, well this has got a bit better support this has got still a good support so don't worry uh, we will talk about display grid in future, so also don't worry. Uh, this is just the first, you, you know, appearance in this course, and this is a cool appearance because you can see a practical example of how to use it. So you change the display of all the elements inside into the grid, and you can just place all the items to the center. I think this is easier to read, right? Not something like align items to the center and then justify content which doesn't you know connect inside my head that this is connected to the uh, horizontal axis like there is no way that i could you know memorize it <laughs> here place all items in the center that's all <laughs> so this is cool however also you need to know that we solve the problem by you know uh having everything inside our entire website, right? But you can, you know, have, for example, set here the width to, I don't know, 600 pixels, right? That's totally okay. And for example, here, 300 pixels. And you don't need the position to be fixed because this can be just a simple box. So the cool thing about this is that you can place anywhere on your website a box and center all the elements inside this box. You can then remove, of course, the background if you don't want it. It's just gonna be in the center. Uh, you can use it, for example, to center images inside the box, the text inside the box. It on, it's gonna be always from the top, from the bottom, left and right in the center. And that's cool, right? Not only 
for the you know solution like this you can use it also like this so this is pretty awesome let's go back to what we had before and as an exercise I would like you to add an X here and move that X to this place okay I want it to be here and you know in future somebody can implement it uh, like you can for example in JavaScript uh, do something like when somebody clicks on it, it th this is gonna disappear, right? The uh, window. Or when somebody clicks yes or no, right? But hey, he can just close it using the X. Uh, how to, you know, make this thing disappear? The cool thing is that you can just go into the box and change the display from grid to none, right? And it's just, that it doesn't exist. So to be honest, in order to show it up, you just need to change it from noun to grid. And that's how you will do it in JavaScript when you learn it. Because I think you should learn JavaScript too. This is something that is connected to front end develop, uh, development. I have a course about JavaScript if you want to learn from me. However, it's really up to you what you're gonna choose. So this is awesome, isn't it? We can now place anything in the center. Uh, I really love this method because it's clear to read, it's easy to use, uh, very cool feature. That's only the lesson. Thank you.